opponent untaps. What's he got? He's trying to figure out how to deal with this Adam, probably. Adam is a pretty difficult card to remove. Alright, so opponent says pay one, cast a purloin. Okay, that's going to happen because I don't have mana to counter. So this one can only discard ability or equipment. He'll probably take Ancestral Awakening here. Here's my hand again. Mikhail, King Green Red, a Chain Purge, destroy ongoings. This guy for card advantage, wind shear. So yeah, if I'm if I'm my opponent, I'm pretty sure I take Ancestral. Yeah, there he goes. And I'll just give him a copy of this. It's like the same as writing it down. There you go. There's a copy, so you don't have to write it down. But, obviously, I'm going to have cards in my hand that you don't know about. My opponent has three cards left in hand. Yeah, take four. Yeah, four. And we untap. Opponent has two cards left. So he can make a boar, and maybe if he has an instant speed spell, get Eye of the Storm. Opponent tapped with his weapon, so he can't swing back against Adam. Oh, hey, let me show you one thing, uh, Kratos. I forgot to tell you this. If you choose to strike back with a weapon, I mean, it doesn't really matter now, but uh, you can do a play like this. If I swing at your hero like this, you can leave one of your weapons untapped and swing back when someone hits you. Yeah, it's a play you might want down the road. Okay, I have two of these guys. I don't think I'm going to get to turn nine. If he if he gets rid of one of them, that's fine. He doesn't look like an ally deck anyways, so. Before we do anything, let's go ahead and see what our opponent's up to. I'm going to swing four or five at you. He just takes the five. All right, so we are in for a race. My opponent took out my best card and my healing card, so I get it. Yeah, let's go ahead and flip Varian over. Alright, so now we have a Protector in play. Uh, and he can start drawing extra cards. If I can draw some more... Um, if I can draw some more unique allies, this guy will turn into a nice little draw engine. Opponent's got four cards, going down to three. He's going to pay two for Restless Blades. These Wind Shears are starting to look not so great. Yeah, I swing for six a turn now. I still think I leave my protector in play unless he deliberately kills it because I want the potential draw. And I'll, I'll let my opponent use his resources. I'm not going to protect against it. I'll do that later. I'll take six. Alright, let's untap. Draw. Remember our hero power heals for five. Hey, Kratos, just to remind you, my hero power does heal, so it can affect the math. Alright, so that deck is playing... He's, he's swinging for 6 a turn now. We could swing in for 8. Clock him up to 13. We'd be pretty similar in this race. Um, if he plays any, any more weapons or additional weapons like this, uh, we can wind shear his ability or just tap his hero. That might be the best play. I think I'll just play Mikhail. Uh, I think I'll... What do we bottom here? Chain Purge? Chain Purge? Chain Purge can kill this thing at least. And if our opponent plays a weapon, like a third weapon, we can Chain Purge that off and he has to delete a weapon. Uh, ooh, it's turn five actually, so we could just kill a weapon. That play seems pretty good. Um, if we kill this, then he's left with a 2-1. But if we kill this, then his other weapon just becomes a 1-1, one, one, which is pretty bad. So what's the new play? I think... This will kill one ability, this will kill the equipment, so I think I definitely leave my protector up just because I want to, I'll force him to use his Eye of the Storm at least if he decides to swing. So, Alright, we'll start with swinging for five at your hero. I'm uh, going to hit back for, yeah, it's plus one attack. 
Uh, in response, I'm going to pay two. I'm going to chain purge and destroy this ongoing ability. It's going to hurt my opponent. So he still takes five. Adam will take two. Yeah, he lost an attack from that thing, so that play is going to hurt my opponent. He didn't expect that, but that's why I did it. Um, so we're not doing the destroy equipment play anymore. Um, I should have seen that on board. I, I, I didn't, so M my bad. Definitely want to resource something here. Mikhail's becoming less and less useful. He's a clock now, uh, but I'd rather save these to just interrupt my hero, my opponent's hero from doing a little too much damage. I think there's a pretty good chance that I can just tap with her. So oh, I'm also going to swing for three more with the protector. Pass. Okay, I've actually only cast three cards this game. Chain Purge, Adam, and Crusade Engineer. Let's move these around a little bit. It's easy to follow. There we go. So we have three mana untapped. Opponent's got to figure out his own plays. We also have the play of Wind Shear, which builds another Eye of the Storm counter. That's kind of annoying. Another play we could have done, which is interesting. Uh, during my turn, I could have, at the end of my own turn, flickered Adam out of play so that on my opponent's turn, Adam would come back into play. Because he's unique, he'd draw me a card with the Engineer. Uh, then he'd be untapped. I mean, untapped doesn't really matter at all if you're on the opposing, you know, if you're if, you're, if it's your opponent's turn. But all right, he's gonna pay four for Mame Gore's bite. That's scary. So I'm just gonna let him declare attack, and then I'll wind shear him down because I don't want to take one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Oh yeah, you gotta pick a weapon to. <laughs> you don't have triple wield anymore. So, you know, you, I'll let you take that play back if you want. Yeah, just, just take it back. You made a mistake. That's cool. Figure out what you want to make for your play. Opponent's trying to play one of those three-arm rogues, you know, and I'm, I'm just not having it. Um, to be fair, my opponent did know about the chain purge, but I don't think he's super concentrated this game. Alright, so he's got five resources. We went second, so that means he took a turn off of resourcing once. He's going to pay five. Carnage. Oh, I'm instantly wind shearing that for sure. I'm going to wind shear, interrupt that ability, and tap your hero. Big play, big play. Yeah, that, that play probably won the game, just due to the race we have going on. Let's untap. Draw one. Uh, yeah, the third one's here. It's, that's hard to beat. Um, <laughs> I think I'll probably just, on on my turn, Scrapper, Iron Bane, uh, plink off this Perdition's Blade. and Yeah, I think that play was the losing play. But Let's find out. Yeah, we'll start with swinging for five. He can swing back, swing back with the. Oh, uh, in order to tap, you've got to. You've got actually. Well, if, if you want to use Eye of the Storm, you have to tap the Eye of the Storm, which you're already tapped out. And then this ability is only for me. And then I will swing for another three. Do I even need to play this equipment thing? Also, Kratos, you can swing back with that thing because it's free to strike with. Even though your hero's tapped, that doesn't matter. So you could have swung back on either one of these guys and did two damage. Uh, I mean, I'll, I'll let you do that. So go for it. Who you want to? Or you can either kill the atom or deal two to the engineer. Okay, so I've I've got a play in response. I wasn't baiting, but this this is a play I would do. I would flip my hero. Check this out. Flip the hero. Heal atom. And then you hit Adam for two. Yeah, man. It's a good little play. <laughs> uh, 
this guy's not going to be castable this game. Um, let's just go ahead and resource that for a future turn. Again, I should have maybe blinked him. Actually, yeah, that would have been a better play. Uh, go ahead and taking a counter off. Flickering at him so I could draw a play, draw a card on his turn. That's that's two times I could have done that play now. Uh, we're already kind of burying our opponent. Go for it. I get a boar. All right, he's completing the quest that he pays one, draws a card, and gives me a boar token. I think our opponent has been going for face because he had a carnage in hand for a while and knew he could wipe the board, but, you know, who expects the interrupt? Yeah, we, we just have lethal on board now. Five, six, seven, eight. Nine. We had lethal before, so he's yeah, he's got Eye the Storm in play, so that's uh, that's one thing he can do. Are you attacking with your hero too? He's gonna swing in for two. Uh, okay, I'll take the two. It's fine. Yeah, I don't really care about that. So uh, we definitely get Eye the Storm here. We're just playing it out, man. It's fine. Oh, yeah, he's, he's dead for sure. The Mikhail I threw away earlier, not that big of a deal, but... Oh, I guess he's not dead. Uh, we don't get to attack. So, yeah, I'll declare attacks here. See the Eye of the Storm. All right, they'll tap. All right, so I'm, since I'm going to play a card, I'm going to go ahead and use Adam's own ability and tick this down to three. Flicker him out. Two, one, two, three, four, five. Do we go ahead and play another card? Like, do we play Mikhail face down and then leave up Windshear? Opponent has one card in hand. Yeah, that seems like the play. We'll go card face down. One, two, three, four, five. Yeah, I mean, I've, I've got some good cards this game, so I'll use that to kill off the Perdition's Blade. And then pass to you. So here's how this works, man. So now my Adam comes back into play. I know you're multitasking, so it's kind of a lot. But Adam comes back into play. Now he's full health, and I draw again. Ah, man, this card just gets better and better as the game goes on. So we would have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, potentially 8. And there are some great cards in my deck for 8. Probably even for 7 as well. Yeah, and I just got this game locked up. Poor opponent. He just wants to swing for some damage. Um, this would do two. So that's one, two, and this is two, doubled up to four. So he can swing for six and not kill me. He's got a Broderick in play, but it's a little too slow at this point. Yeah. Flip the hero and swing for weapons cost zero, so. Yep, I'll take the six. I mean, I have either storm I could tap with, but there's no point. Game's pretty much over. You don't need to rub stuff in heroes. Oh, yeah. One more. Got it. Sorry, I forgot about that one. Tap, draw. So, opponent has six health. He's just dead, but let me see. Let's go ahead and put one of those down so we can cast this for eight. All right, so this card just gets better as the game goes on. You took my my first one, and let's see how what this one can get me. I have eight mana. Uh, Weldon doesn't kill him right away or anything like that. And again, this game's already over. I'm just kind of... Reminding myself what's in the deck. Uh, that'll do it. So that guy. I'll just go with him. There might be like a Malfurion at 8 or something. But I think he's in the sideboard. So I think the big finisher is King Varian. One. Oh, so then. And then check out the synergy. I draw a card from the other guy. Yeah. That cost me 4. Still have four left. One, two, three. So that'd be three. 
Yeah, just swing for five. And then at the end of my turn, his trigger will hit you for three more. And that'll be game. GG, dude. I, I don't know how to play that game differently. Like, I'm not sure what could have been done differently. Um, I had three wind shears, and they were good. Uh, you had the decent play when figuring out how to strike back against this guy. I think that's probably one of the best ways to remove him is just striking back. Uh, I mean, but I drew a bunch of wind shears and equipment removal. I, I kind of drew, like, this guy's a one-of. Just got what I needed. That happens sometimes. GG.